In this tutorial, we will begin by making our first Java file. To get started, we'll create a folder on the desktop. Go ahead and name this folder Tutorials. And open it up and make a new folder called Chapter 1. Now you don't have to name these folders the exact same way that I'm naming them, but for the sake of the terminal commands being the exact same and to prevent any free possible errors, just go ahead and name them what I got here. Go ahead and minimize that for later. Next, go ahead and open up your editor of choice. Now, you can use any simple text editor, or you can use more advanced text editors designed for programming. I will be using brackets for my examples and for my future examples. Uh, if you follow along with our Windows tutorials, you will notice that we use Notepad++, but unfortunately, we do not have that option on Mac as I do not have a Mac version. Go ahead and open up brackets. And we're first going to go to File and New. Create this new file and then we're going to File and Save As. Navigate to our desktop on that chapter one. We're going to name this Empty class dot java. Make sure the naming convention is the same with the E and the C being capital and making sure it's a dot java class file. Let's go ahead and give ourselves a little room. Then we're going to create our first file. So type public class empty class. A couple of curly braces there. And hit save. Making sure that this name here is the exact same as the file name, including capitalizations and the such. You don't have to put .java here though. When naming your class, keeping in mind that both these need to be the same, it is suggested and also required to refrain from using numbers in the beginning of the class name as well as avoiding using special characters such as the at sign or a hyphen in the class name itself. The easiest way to go about doing that is simply using what's called camel casing, which is capitalizing the first letter of each new word in the name and just leaving the space out. So once we have this completed, we can go ahead and minimize. That's all the job we're writing for today and open up a terminal. Now in your terminal, to verify that we already have our Java installed from the last video, you can type Java, Java Tech Version, and it should pop up with a Java version number here. Next, we need to change the directory to look into our Chapter 1 folder. Right now it's looking in the home folder of this login. CD desktop tutorials chapter one and hit enter now it's changed from the tilde which is the home to chapter one next we're going to compile that java file into a dot class file the java file is the raw code the dot class file is the executable version of that code that java uses to run we're going to hit java c empty class dot java making sure this is spelled exactly the same as the file that we just made hit enter if no errors pop up then your class is compiled correctly you can go ahead and open up that folder again you now see you have a dot class file you can't open this file directly but this is the file that you would be using to run your code to run the code, type in java space empty class. This will tell the program that you're wanting to run a java file, a java class file, and this is the class file's name. Hit enter. We did get an error because we don't have any content associated with the code itself, which we'll be going over in the next tutorial. 